kombucha, kayaking, and karaoke on the weekends. Whoa. So that's what X is. X is kombucha. Didn't see that one coming. Didn't see that one coming. Kayaking. Okay. This is it, X doesn't sound so bad. I, I might actually agree with PragerU for the first time. Uh, you know, a little bit of that. But wait a minute. Wait. Kombucha. Kayaking. Karaoke. KKK. I haven't graduated from university in some time, and uh, my brain don't work no good no more. So I'm thinking we could turn to PragerU now to get some educational topics. Uh, the first one is one I think that's been plaguing both uh, humanity and uh, the upper echelon credentialists for some time, and it's related to dating. Uh, it's just, I'd say it's a full-time course in trad wifery. So uh, if anyone out there is a trad wife or an aspiring trad wife, or perhaps, I mean, we could be woke about this, a trad husband, uh, prepare yourselves and your bodies for the experience known as PragerU. And I believe this one is hosted by our good friend, uh, who we haven't had the pleasure of dunking on very much. Uh, and that would be none other than uh, a Madame Lauren Chen. Women, here's a revolutionary idea. Date with a purpose. What purpose? Getting married. Whoa, am I moving too fast for you? Making you uncomfortable? Dating, you say, is just, well, dating. You know, hookups, casual flings, having fun. Yeah? Who said so? Don't get me wrong, I'm all for fun, but I'm interested in something deeper here, like happiness. I'm certainly not saying that marriage should be the Fun, happiness. They're not synonymous. You cannot have fun and be happy. You can't be happy and have fun. It's one or the other. Take your pick. First topic of conversation, at least wait until the pizza is served. Just kidding. But I am saying that you need to ask yourself this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we're so busy these days. What with the minutiae of everything and alienation being caused by society that I may have missed the joke there. I'm this topic of conversation, at least wait until the pizza is served. Just kidding. <laughs> but I am saying that you need to ask yourself this question. Why do you want to go on a date with someone? Physical attraction? That's important. Common interest in something? Also important. But what else? Let's face it, most of the time we, and by we here I'm referring to women, have no idea. We have no plan. That's okay as far as... I mean, uh, I suppose... This is a bit of a double standard, because I, I think if, uh, if a guy was speaking like this, it would be seen as horrifyingly sexist. Uh, but because it's a woman, uh, I don't know, uh, ladies in the audience, if you'd, uh, if you'd agree with this, but uh, uh, it's, it's totally okay now. None of you have plans. You're just wandering aimlessly through life, hoping to, uh, to take what little scraps of pizza and happiness you can find. As it goes, but as far as it goes, is not very far and frankly not very smart but let's play out the scenario we too often assume that relationships have levels of commitment progressing if they progress at all like video games a hookup is level one dating is level two level three living together and then after we've had those maybe we're ready for marriage but in fact relationships usually don't progress that way Hookups arise out of whim, impulse, or simple attraction. Dating is often based on compatibility or convenience, and sometimes on the hope that something serious might develop. Living together may be based on real love and a tryout for marriage, but it can also be based on less serious considerations like lack of other opportunities, desire for a roommate, or the inability to afford a single apartment. Ah, uh, so the problem is, uh, your pores. That's what it is. Uh, you don't want marriage, and you're just uh, you're just testing the waters because you're one of the pores. Uh, Prager U often speaks about the pores, so uh, you know you dirty, filthy, garbage people. Um, hopefully, hopefully you're not going to be reproducing anytime soon because we can't have that. No, 
But marriage is a different enterprise entirely. Those looking for a good marriage are looking for someone who wants to build a shared life. They're looking for someone who shares their values and beliefs, moral, political, and where applicable, religious. They view each other not only as a partner, but as something even more profound, husband and wife. The problem with so many dating relationships is that people enter them with completely different understandings of what the ideal outcome should be. He wants X and she wants Y. And it's easy to get distracted. <laughs> I mean, come on, eh? Where my boys at, boys? Y'all know you want X, right? Fuck, loves me X. Girls always be hassling the uh, yeah, they just want Y. Nah, man, we want X. It's X or death, yo. Born for, son. Distracted and fooled by superficial compatibility. They're thrilled they both like kombucha, kayaking, and karaoke on the weekend. Whoa. So that's what X is. X is kombucha. Didn't see that one coming. Didn't see that one coming. Kayaking. Okay. This is it, X doesn't sound so bad. I, I might actually agree with PragerU for the first time. Uh, you know, a little bit of that. But wait a minute. Wait. Kombucha. Kayaking. Karaoke. KKK. This is a new kind of dog whistle, everybody. I mean, this one's deeply encoded, but there it is. The three Ks. God, we're through the looking glass here, people. That's all great, but when do you get down to the stuff that really matters over the long run? Stuff like marriage, family, faith, and values. Mm -hmm. I say the sooner the better. If mm -hmm. a relationship looks like it has a future, talk about it early on. And if it doesn't look like it has a future, what are you doing in it? I have no doubt the reason so many women get stuck in dead-end relationships is that it has become taboo, or to be precise, not politically correct, for a woman to articulate what she really wants. Which takes me back to marriage. Which is why. Like, why? The letter. As, as we said before, men want KKK, uh, which is known as X. So if we do the transit of the property, if we do the algebra here, uh, women want Y, so they can bring that up as well. Uh, and that, that'll save marriages. I mean, it's, it's just facts. She's spouting logic and science here, everybody. Hope everyone's paying attention. ...and why women crave it. Here are three reasons. Protection, commitment, mm. love. Mm. Nothing wrong with wanting those things. It is something women have wanted and great societies have valued for thousands of years. It is something men still want too. Little wonder, study after study shows that those in good marriages are happier, healthier, even wealthier than those who are not. Ooh, I like how alpha everything got. Check this out. Here he is, the virgin, by himself. But all of a sudden, he's about to become chattified, thanks to KKK. Those in good marriages are happier, healthier, oh, even wealthier than... I think there was even an increase in bulge. I could be wrong. But I'd like to be sure, just for aesthetics. Happier, health. There was. There was a definite change in bulge. Let's slow this down, all right, for science. Because this is important. This is what PragerU is all about. We're going to do 0.75. Those in good. I'm sorry, I'm going to move the, the closed caption. Marriages. All right, so uh, behold the bulge, and let's see if there's going to be a change in the bulge right now. Are happier, healthier. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Longer. It lost a little girth. In the KKK process, a little bit of girth was lost. Still, still, it's longer. It's probably more robust. Uh, it can maintain erections for a longer time. There's no way of knowing yet. We'll have to wait until, uh, you know, dong awareness comes by to let us know. Even wealthier than those who are not. Mm. Like anything you want, you have to work toward it. And anything that isn't moving you toward your goal is a waste of time. What's the difference between living with someone and marriage? It's the difference between referring to the man in your life as my boyfriend, significant other, or partner, and referring to him as my husband, and him referring to you as my wife, as compared with my girlfriend. Ask anyone who has taken the plunge and they'll tell you. Living together and marriage have little in common. Mm. It's sort of like the difference between living in a country and being a citizen of that country. The latter, with its commitments, all the... So anyone who's unfamiliar with PragerU, if this is your first experience with PragerU and learning about, you know, X, Y, KKK, all these very difficult topics, you might be wondering why exactly is this uh, 
not referencing any kind of statistics, right? There's no data. Uh, and that's because PragerU doesn't believe in data or facts or figures or uh, learned knowledge. Uh, it's it's mostly about the feels. It's always the feels over the reels. And in this case, we've got Lauren Chen saying, hey, by the way, if you live with someone, it's totally different than marriage. And when asked what exactly is the difference, uh, it, it's a word. It, it comes down to the word. Uh, this is my boyfriend versus this is my partner versus this is my husband, apparently, is, is really what it all comes down to. Um, and uh, if we were, of course, to look at any kind of statistics, any kind of, uh, you know, large scale data uh, on any of this kind of information, I'm pretty sure we'd come to the same conclusions that we're all guessing right now. Uh, I can just say off the top of my head, I believe that over 50% of marriages end in divorce. And on top of which, let us not forget, let us not forget that these uh, trying times uh, that people who are in domestic partnerships, uh, and by the way, she's, she's not touching this topic for a very important reason. I'm pretty sure you all know uh, the idea of perhaps marriages that are outside the paradigm of one man and one woman. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll let that be what it was. But at the same time, yeah, I'm pretty sure if we look at the statistics of people who are in domestic partnerships, people who are in civil unions, uh, it doesn't exactly change that much. Is this single word marriage saving relationships? I'll leave that to prayer you to decide. Obligations and expectations means a lot more. To someone who tells you that a marriage license is trivial, just a piece of paper, here's a good response. If it's just a piece of paper, why are you so reluctant to sign it? The answer, of course, is that no one believes that it's trivial. Everyone knows it's the most important decision you'll ever make. So treat it that way. Here's a good rule of thumb. Think about the kind of relationship you want as much as you think about the kind of career you want. I'm not an- Checkmate libs. Never forget that, by the way. If marriage doesn't matter, why are you so scared to get married? Hmm? Anti-career, I'm just pro-relationship. Specifically, pro-marriage. Because when you get it right, that's the best relationship there is. And it starts with the first date. I'm Lauren Chen, host of Pseudo Intellectual on Blaze TV for Prager University. Thank you for watching this video. To keep oh. PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax deductible donation. Wait, a tax deductible donation? Does that mean PragerU is a nonprofit? Oh no. We should really be playing the game, everybody. I mean, I, I seriously mean this. Like, someone out there, hey, are you a lefty and you want to start making uh, anti Prager U videos? Why not start a nonprofit? You can still make a ton of money. If you run a nonprofit, you can pay yourself hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, uh, I've had friends who worked for Big Brothers, the Big Brothers Foundation. The CEO of their chapters still made hundreds of thousands of dollars. You just have to generate zero profit for the company itself at the end of the year, as I'm sure Dennis Prager and Prager U are doing. And then you get to have yourself a little tax haven. We would like to thank Miranda Marone. You are our monarch, and we thank you for our indentured servitude. We would like to thank our lords, Ricky Pilgrim, I'm Raft, Michaela Schmid, Tomospin, Ferrer Tahon. You are all the pillars of our organization. To our knights of the square table, Paul Parafit, Daniel Kahn, Clement Chutzkoff, Alan R., Josh Mickelson, and Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas, ooh, Dr. Zayas, Cooper Pilot, Andrea Lynn Epperly, Dylan Bythe, Terry, Todd Buckingham, and Todd Lajeunesse. And to our merchants, thank you for taking mercy upon us.